Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be going through organizing and mainly getting rid of a bunch of my makeup and especially eyeshadow palettes. Back at our old house, so when we lived with my aunt, I had an entire like vanity set up. You guys may remember I did an entire vanity tour and when I had that I had also some like Alex drawers that I kept all like my palettes in and all my like extra makeup and I still have those Alex drawers and I still actually have that vanity. However, I don't use them for makeup anymore. I have actually cut down the storage area that I have for my makeup to a fraction of what I had at my aunt's house with my vanity set up. It's funny because like usually like like buying your own house you would think I would prioritize like all that and like make sure I had room to have something like that but I actually like was thinking about it when we were in the process of moving I'm really kind of over having as much makeup as I did I'm obviously still gonna keep certain things that like I can use throughout the span of a while like primers and setting sprays and mascaras and all that stuff that I used to buy in basically bulk. <laughs> I'm still going to keep all those things that I have like lots of extras of and just continue to use as I run out. But I definitely need to go through and get rid of a bunch of palettes because I literally, I just honestly don't care anymore. For someone who loved makeup and loved buying all the makeup a few years ago like I really just don't care anymore like I honestly don't remember the last time I bought a palette that's a lie I actually just recently ordered a new palette from NYX cosmetics because I saw an ad for a palette of theirs that was on sale and it was honestly just like all the colors that I know I will use on a day-to-day -day basis and that's honestly just what I need to do is I need to go through my palettes and really just cut down to just palettes that I know I will use every single Single color in the palette just like get rid of the rest I probably packed up all of my makeup leaving myself with the bare minimum makeup about a week before we actually moved out of my aunt's house and I have literally been only using that makeup as well as one eyeshadow palette since we moved into this house and honestly it's been totally fine like I haven't felt the need for anything else I haven't had the desire to like find a specific palette and use that over the palette that I left myself so I know that I can do this I know that I can really like be harsh on myself and really cut out a lot of palettes so I'm gonna do that today I'm really excited about it and let me just show you quickly before I begin what I'm working with and then the amount of storage I actually now have for palettes and makeup and stuff so I have this right here which has a lot of like unused uh, primers and setting sprays and stuff like that I have all that in here then I have this box here that is totally and completely full of makeup and then I have this entire bag right here that is all makeup that I need to go through so now with that let me show you the storage area I have for my everyday makeup So like I said, I have cut down my storage area to a fraction of what I used to have. What I'm trying to do in this video is mostly just cut out things that I know I'm not going to use anymore. But that drawer that you saw is what I'm using for my daily makeup. So what I grab on a day-to-day -day basis to use and do my makeup with. The bag that you saw in there, that has all of my makeup that I'm currently using on a day-to-day -day basis in. So I'm going to keep that in there and just use that... Like I said, grab it every day when I do my makeup. And then also in that drawer, I need to store all of my palettes that I'm keeping. So I don't have a ton of storage anymore for those kinds of things. With that being said, I'm just going to dive right in and start going through everything. And yeah, we'll just go from there. And I'll probably cut in every once in a while to maybe say something about palettes or anything that I plan on getting rid of. But yeah, let's just get started.
So I just went through this bin. Sorry if there's wind. I had to open the window because I'm just wearing a tank top underneath my sweater here and it's like super like not great fitting. <laughs> but it was way too hot. I needed to open the window. So if you can hear the blinds banging, I apologize. I just I had to open the window. I just went through this first little bin here and holy smokes. First of all, I have a buttload of e.l.f. setting sprays. I honestly hate this setting spray. I think I bought these and I've just been using them to like wet my brushes to like really like pack on an eyeshadow and stuff, which I don't do ever anymore. So I have three of these that are gonna get basically not thrown out. Two of them still have the seals on them, so I'll probably give these away. There's one that is still open, so maybe I'll still use this on the rare occasion that I do use this. Also, on top of that, I have about a gazillion, here, let me show you. I have about a gazillion um, powder or makeup sponges. I don't wear foundation anymore. It has been probably over a year since I've worn foundation, but even on like nice occasions where I'm doing like a little bit more makeup than I usually do, I still, I'm not even wearing foundation because I it just can't be bothered. My skin is so oily that I hate wearing foundation. All of these sponges are not gonna get used. I'm keeping these two because I think they're really pretty. I think I'm gonna keep this one too. It's kind of like, it's a diamond shape and it's just kind of, interesting actually i think i'm gonna gift this to my friend danielle because she loves diamonds i think i'm gonna make a little gift bag for uh danielle i know i'm putting together a bag of stuff for a woman i work with her daughter is like 13 14 years old and she is just like recently getting into makeup so i'm putting together a bag of stuff for her to go through and then i think i'm gonna put together a little gifty bag for my friend danielle but also i did not realize how many freaking primers i had i literally just ordered more primer because i thought i was almost out of primer here i am with about 16 primer are you joking me right now jody what i need is setting sprays i have two setting sprays here i Definitely need more setting sprays. <laughs> So I have two of these brushes from NYX. I don't know what they're called because they were like a limited edition. These are the best brushes to use for loose powder. So even though I have two extras, I'm not getting rid of either of these because like I said, these are the best brushes for loose powder and that's literally all I use lately. I literally just use powder on my face. I haven't worn foundation in months. So I just use those powder and powder and I use this brush. So in this little container, I have all my unused eyeliners. And in this container, I have all my unopened mascaras. Well, I guess, okay, so they're both unopened. Yeah, I should clarify that. I think the eyeliners, I'm gonna go through and pick out ones to give away. I decided what I'm going to do instead of making like a little gift bag for my friends, 
I'm just going to put together a bag of unused or barely used makeup and I'm gonna let my friend Danielle go through it and then whatever she doesn't want I'm gonna give to my friend at work to give to her daughter to go through I just have a ton of stuff I don't think I'm ever gonna use all of this so I really just need to get rid of stuff give it to someone who is gonna use it I'll probably keep most of this mascara because honestly I love mascara that's like my one thing that like I just can't get rid of you may have seen that I opened and put in here the better than birthday sex limited edition <laughs> mascara from Too Faced I'm not really collecting makeup anymore except for like Disney makeup because Disney is obviously different to me like I used to love makeup so I collected makeup but now I don't really like makeup I still love Disney so I still collect Disney makeup and just Disney stuff in general in here I've put better than birthday sex mascara to use as well as the Tarte special edition mascara you guys may have also noticed that I have about a gazillion of these mascaras. This is the Sephora Outrageous Volume Mascara. This is my favorite mascara ever. It has horrible reviews on the Sephora app, but I love it. And they don't sell it anymore, so I stocked the F up. And if you're wondering what the best drugstore mascara is, it is the Essence Lash Princess. They have a bunch of different styles. This one's the waterproof, and this one is the sculpted volume. I personally love the false lash effect one, but they are all amazing. And Essence is drugstore and cruelty-free. This mascara is the mascara I always recommend. So I've decided I'm going to get rid of all of my kind of like gel eyeliners because honestly I find that even though they last super super long because they last so long they go bad a lot faster with something like this that's like a marker once it's out it's out with something like this I feel like you get so much product and yeah it's fantastic that you get so much product but then it goes bad and I got an eye infection last year I have absolutely no idea what it was from but just ever since then I've been a lot more conscious about what I'm putting on my eyes I only use my mask mascaras for like three months and I try to do kind of the same with my eyeliners so I find if I use something like this that's like a pen or a liquid marker kind of an eyeliner once it runs out it's out and I don't have to worry about it with something like this I feel like I'm constantly using it until it runs out which is way longer than three months sometimes and I just think that's not good so I'm going to give these to someone again who will probably get more use out of them So now I am going to go through this big bag of stuff. This probably has the most out of everything. This is going to take a while to go through. I've kind of just put my palettes to the side and I'm going to go through those once I have all of my palettes out to kind of like these two are similar. I'm going to get rid of this one kind of a deal. There's just a couple things here that I just like I can't decide if I want to get rid of or not. Like for example, I have kept this little powder puff from Too Faced. I don't use it, but I just thought it was like the cutest little decoration and it reminded me of a part in a Winnie the Pooh TV show where Winnie the Pooh and all his little friends are putting on a play and as they're trying to get ready to perform this play Tigger is running around and he has this giant like face size powder puff and he's just like smacking into people's face he's like makeup boofed and this just reminds me of that and it's so cute so I don't know if I want to keep this I literally like don't really have anywhere to put it anymore because I don't really have a place for like decorations and stuff especially like makeup y decorations because I don't have a vanity or anything anymore. And then I also have to go through this entire box. This is all of my lip products and I probably use three lipsticks. This is gonna be fun to go through.
just found an empty Too Faced setting spray. It's freaking empty. Well, besides that little spray. Why the heck did I pack this? Who packed me to move? I think the only type of like foundation I'm going to be keeping is concealer because literally that is all I've been using. If I have some sort of like breakout or something, I put a little bit of concealer on it and then I just powder it and that's it. And I'm about to go through like what I had in like storage for foundation. And I know for a fact that probably half of them are gonna be like, they're not gonna be like mixed properly and stuff and it's gonna be really gross. I'm so mad at myself like looking at how much foundation I have. It is a ridiculous amount and it's like, seriously Jody, like there's just a waste of money because I can't really give it to anyone because it's old. Yes, it hasn't ever been used, but it's old and it's like separated and stuff. And I just feel bad that I'm basically having to throw it all out. Certain things I obviously do stock up on, like mascaras and stuff, and I find those like okay to stock up on, but like foundations, anything like liquidy like that, do not stock up on. Like I feel like I wasted so much money. So I don't know if you can see here, but this foundation has like this like white here. So this one for sure you can see has separated. So this one unfortunately just has to go right into the garbage, which is super freaking upsetting to me because one, I spent money on this and two, someone else could have bought this and actually used it. So I'm freaking so mad at myself right now. That's another thing I really need to start doing like obviously like I still have a buttload of mascaras and a buttload of eyeliners that you guys have seen but once I like go through it all and actually start using them I really need to stop buying so much I honestly haven't like actually gone to the store and bought makeup in months because I just have so much like on hand and I just need to be more conscious and more careful with my products and only buy what I need I am basically gonna get rid of all of my foundations the only one I am keeping is this one because it's been started and I will just use this kind of as like a concealer until it's all out hopefully by the time I'm done and I actually like pack up my drawer have everything kind of sorted and organized I'll feel a little bit better about it <sighs> okay continuing on So I'm all done going through this ginormous bag here. I have this bag so far of stuff that I am letting my friend go through when I see her. This stuff right here is stuff that um, I'm saving that needs to kind of go into the bathroom. But I am saving one of these ones because it was opened. And then I use this stuff for kind of the same thing. So I'll save this one because I have used it as well. And I kind of use these on my eyes instead of like wetting eyeshadow and I find it a lot easier so I'm just gonna save these three because I've used them quite a bit. I have some extra makeup wipes in here is all like my extra little travel hand creams and then a buttload of lip chaps need those. I have two packs of false lashes. I don't wear false lashes a lot but pretty much all of the ones in here I've used so I don't want to like give to anyone else and then all the stuff over here is kind of stuff that's like extra like if I have room I'll keep it I, I think I'm gonna give this one to my friend because I have this one still I don't really wear perfume very much anymore so I'm gonna keep this one for myself give this one to my friend because her and I both love the Britney Spears perfume so I'm gonna give this to her I am actually running out of time my sister texted me about an hour ago and asked if we want to go to her house for pizza 
and she said that they were at my grandma's house and they'd be leaving her house to head home and get pizza or five and it is 10 after five right now so i'm actually running out of time she still hasn't really texted me that they're home or almost home but i don't really want to be like in the middle of anything when she does text me so i'm kind of debating if i should start anything i really only have to go through my palettes and then my lipsticks and then Put it everything away and then i'll be done so i don't have a ton to do but i do have a lot of lip products and i do have a lot of eyeshadow palettes that i need to go through i think i'm gonna wrap this up for today i will come back and do my palettes and my lip stuff in this video you'll see me in a second but i'll check in with you guys later before i do go i just want to give you guys a slight idea of how many palettes i'm actually working with here so here is my pile of eyeshadow palettes that i need to go through and decide what i'm keeping and then you guys saw I have all my lips stuff here that I need to go through and decide what I'm keeping I do have these little containers here I have two of them that I've emptied out and I think I'm going to keep like special lip stuff in here I have one non Disney lipstick that I had in my collection video that I just no matter what I just I couldn't get rid of and I do have a couple other like Disney lipsticks and then I did see some ones in there that I do want to keep for collection purposes so I think I'm gonna keep those in here and then keep with the rest of my Disney makeup my sister just called me she She's home or almost home so we're gonna head over there for pizza but I just want to show you guys the state of this room like holy smokes it does not look good in here at all hey so it's the next day and we're continuing on going through everything like I mentioned I just pretty much have my palettes and my lipsticks to go through and then I'm done then I just need to put everything away and I think putting it away will be kind of difficult because then I actually have to see if like what I've decided to keep fits in my one singular drawer and I think I decided well I have a second one of these tins from um, another Minnie Mouse Sephora collection thing I bought and I think I want to keep all the lipsticks that I'm keeping in here and then keep that in the drawer so I've already put in here some of my perfumes I have three travel size Kat Von D Saints and then one Daisy by Marc Jacobs. These are my favorite perfumes. And then I'm going to fill the rest with lipsticks. So I have to go through this monstrosity of lipsticks and get rid of enough to only have enough to fit in here. I don't wear lipsticks much anymore. Like literally the last time I wore anything that wasn't like a super like neutral color was for a video. So I mean, I'll probably keep like a couple for like filming, but I don't wear reds or pinks or anything like that to work or anything. We're gonna start going through all of these and put what I'm keeping in this tin. So I've organized everything and these are all my red lipsticks these are like my pinky glosses type thing these are two just like very deep like ones a spark very deep sparkly purpley red and this one's just a like very deep purpley red and then these are all kind of my like neutral colors and then I have a few ones oops and then I have a few things over here that are just kind of like miscellaneous lip products like lip toppers uh, this one is for removing lipstick a lip exfoliant stuff like that so these I will be keeping well, I know for a fact I'm going to get rid of these two even though they are beautiful I don't think I've ever worn either of these I think maybe I wore this one for one video and this one I've never worn they are beautiful but I just don't wear them let's do the reds last uh, let's start with these neutral ones these ones I do wear more often than the rest of them
So there are all the swatches. I'm sorry, my lighting is so bad in here. But the first one I'm going to get rid of is this one here, which is this one by Tarte. I don't know what it's called. It just says pink on it and it shows up the least. It looks like a gloss. So I'm not a fan of that. So that's going for sure. I feel like these two are ridiculously similar. One is Essence Matte Matters and the other one is Kat Von D Lolita 2. And that's funny because for the longest time Lolita 2 was like my favorite color ever. But like seriously, like if you compare them right next to each other they are like basically identical i think the matte matters one is a little bit less orangey and so for that reason i'm gonna keep this one and i'm going to get rid of the cat von d one the only one out of these ones i think i'm gonna get rid of is this one by elf and that's only because it's showing up quite purple on my skin tone and i'm not a fan of purple on me personally especially this like super super light purple so i'm going to get rid of this elf one i do think i'm going to keep the rest of these because i do actually wear these quite often I, i'm hanging on to this nars one cat von d lovecraft cat von d double dare and then essence dangerously yours and now i'm going to go through these kind of pinky glosses there's the swatches first two i know i'm gonna get rid of are nyx Prague. it's just too purple for me and then this sephora lip gloss this is in gorgeous red it's just too pink for me and then this tart one i do like this in the sense that it is like a it's kind of like a colored lip balm so it's actually like quite good on your lips it's not just like a lip color it feels really really good on your lips i just don't like this color and then these two are quite similar it is the urban decay naked gloss in love child and then the sephora gloss in tickled pink I think I'm gonna hang on to the Urban Decay one. I think it shows up a little bit nicer and I do remember really, really liking this gloss. This one was just a little bit too sticky for me. My arm is officially stained pink. Now I have to go through all of my reds. I have a ridiculous amount of red lipsticks. Here we go, all of my red lipstick. The first one is this one by NYX. This one is honestly so old. I have had this since I was in Florida. I'm not even gonna like give this to my friends to go through because it's so old. So I'm gonna just toss this right away. Next, I have this one by NARS. I am gonna hang on to this one because it's actually quite different than all of my other ones. Then we have this one by Sephora. It's not bad. I'm gonna get rid of it. Next we have the Maybelline Super Stay and I have heard wonderful, wonderful, wonderful things about this product. I've heard that it actually like stays on forever and you actually need some sort of product to remove it in order to get it off. I haven't had a solid opportunity to try it yet because lately when I've been wearing lipsticks, it's just for videos. So I wipe it off right pretty much right away. But I think I'm gonna hang on to this. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not gonna hang on to this. If I'm wearing a red lipstick, it's not an all day thing. It's like for a video or for just kind of going out and I have other ones that will last me. So I'm gonna give this one away. Next is this uh, NYX one and I think I have literally gotten rid of all of my NYX ones because honestly, they just get kind of chunky and I don't like them. Also, it's a little too orange for me. This is a Kat Von D one. I'm gonna hang on to this one because it's very different than all of the other ones I have. Actually, again, changed my mind. I am gonna get rid of this one. It's a little too dark for me. It is is uh, this one here. If you can tell in the camera, it's just way too dark. It almost looks brown in camera. Next, I have this one by Urban Decay. This is just a sample one. And honestly, I did not like how this one applied at all. So I'm gonna get rid of this. Then I have this one by Too Faced. It is a Too Faced melted one. And this one is one that I was saying is quite similar to the Maybelline one. And as you can see, I have well used this one. So because I haven't touched the Maybelline one to my lips 
at all. I feel more comfortable giving that one to a friend over this one. So I'm going to hang on to this one. Then we have this color lock by BH Cosmetics. I got this one a while ago and honestly it is super super similar to MAC Ruby Woo and honestly this one goes on like a dream where the MAC Ruby Woo it stays on better however it applies like chalk. I can't stand it. I'm just gonna pull out MAC Ruby Woo just to compare. Actually I'm gonna get rid of them both. I don't think I'm gonna wear them I've kept a couple other reds. I'm gonna get rid of them both. Next, I have this Revlon one, like this one, but again, I think it's just a little too orange, so I'm gonna get rid of it. This one, I am 100% keeping. This is a water tint that I got at a store called The Face Shop, and it is a Mickey Mouse collection one. This one is amazing. It is a beautiful red, but it's a stain. As you can see, even after wiping it off with a makeup wipes, the color is still there. It literally lasts all day. It doesn't say super, super red like how it did when it goes on. So this I'm 100% keeping. And then the last one is a gloss by Sephora. And I'm just going to get rid of it because I really don't really wear glosses. Well, I currently have a few little travel sized perfumes. All the lipsticks I was keeping and all the like extra little things that I said I had like the toppers and stuff in here and it is just barely staying closed so if I can get rid of like one more thing I'm gonna be happy I know exactly what I'm getting rid of I'm getting rid of two things I'm getting rid of the elf lip exfoliator I prefer the ones from lush so I'm gonna get rid of this and then I'm also gonna get rid of the elf two-sided lip plumper and primer my little thing is completely closed, so I succeeded. I got rid of enough stuff that I can fit all the lipsticks I'm keeping, plus my perfumes and lip product-y things in this tin. And now I have the daunting task of going through all of my eyeshadow palettes. This is going to take some serious like going through and serious like willpower to get rid of stuff. I have one more palette that I've been using on a day-to-day -day basis in my drawer so I'm gonna go grab that. So I've organized everything into piles. I have some Z palettes, a Hard Candy, Tarte, Beige Cosmetics, NYX, Wet n Wild, Elf, Too Faced, and then one Cap on D eyeshadow palette. I don't even know how to do this. So the first thing I know I'm going to get rid of are these two Hard Candy glitter palettes. I bought these when I went to Disney World and they were so much fun and they are so much fun for kind of stuff like that. But I've definitely kind of like outgrown these. So getting rid of these. I guess my plan of attack at the moment is just to kind of go through and find what all is sort of the same I guess. So I think I'm going to keep this palette by BH Cosmetics. There's literally one color in here that I don't think I'm going to use and that's this color right here but looking at the other one there's like this whole section here of stuff that I probably wouldn't use. I like having this palette because it's a lot of like base colors that I use literally every day. So I have these two palettes. This is the NYX Ignite palette and then this is the Urban Decay Naked Cherry palette and they're both quite similar and so I was debating which one I want to keep. I think I'm actually going to get rid of both of them because they're both very pinky stuff and I just don't wear that. This is the NYX Butt Naked Underneath It All palette. I literally never use this palette. I thought I would get a ton of use out of it because I was like, this is great for traveling because it has highlights and blushes. 
and eyeshadows. Well, here's the thing. I don't wear blushes at all, ever. And I don't think I've ever gone and used these highlights. I'm gonna get rid of this. And even though I think it's great for traveling because there's, it's all together, this is like such bulky packaging. And I know I have basically all these colors somewhere else. So saying goodbye to this. I'm 100% getting rid of this. This is the Urban Decay Naked Smoky palette. I literally just bought this because I wanted to own all of the naked palettes. I will literally never wear any of these colors. Like there's so many blues and stuff in here. I will never use this ever. 100% getting rid of this. This is the Urban Decay Naked Honey palette. I really like some of these colors as well as some of these colors, but I will never use these middle yellow colors. Nope. So I have the Urban Decay Naked palette, the NYX, what's this called? Love Contours All palette, the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette, and then the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. Really struggling here because I love the colors in the original Urban Decay Naked palette. However, I won't ever use these last two colors here and I'm really trying to cut my collection down and really only have palettes where I will literally use every single color. Even though I really love all these colors, I don't want these colors. I 100% know I'm hanging on to the NYX Love Contours All palette. I literally use this every stinking day. I literally use all of these colors. This 100% is staying. I really love the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette and it holds kind of a place in my heart because it was my first naked palette and I think it was actually like my first high-end brand palette. So I do think I really want to keep this palette. I do think I will get more use out of the two over the one because the one does have a couple colors that I won't use where I can see myself using all of the colors in the two palette. So I think I'm gonna hang on to two and three and get rid of one. This is the Urban Decay Naked Reloaded palette. I think I'm gonna hang on to this one. I'm pretty sure I'll use every color in here. And one thing I really liked about this palette is that they made these two colors at the end larger. And then I have these two. This one's from Wet n Wild and this one is from Elf. They are both quite similar. I think I'm gonna hang on to the Wet n Wild one only because I've used it a lot more. This is the NYX Machinist um, Grind Palette. I honestly don't know if I've used any of these colors except for like plain with. This is the Kat Von D Shade and Light uh, Sage Palette. I'm gonna hang on to this because it is quite small and I do really like these colors and wanna do like a little bit like of a green tone on my eyes. This is the Urban Decay Born to Run Palette. I absolutely loved this palette when it came out, but again, I don't think I'm gonna use any of these colors except like maybe like a few of the neutrals, maybe the black and that's probably it. This one actually is really hard for me to get rid of, but again, I just need to get rid of stuff that I'm not gonna use. I'm comparing my Tarte Clay Play palette to this BH Cosmetics palette, and there's a lot of similar colors. The packaging on the BH Cosmetics palette is bigger, but it's a lot easier to start, like it's a lot thinner than this one. I'm gonna get rid of this one. Fun fact, this is the first and only YouTuber palette collab that I have ever bought. This is the Graveyard Girl Swamp Queen palette. I'm gonna get rid of this one. This one is another one that's really difficult for me to get rid of. It's just a big package for 12 shades, and this one's a blush. I don't wear blush. I think this one's supposed to be a contour. Doesn't match me at all for contour. This is the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. Gonna get rid of this. I have a few of these like tiny, tiny, tiny palettes. I might keep all of these. No, no. I'm changing my mind. Okay, I'm keeping this one. I actually like like the size of the pans. Like they're tiny, but they're usable. Same goes for this uh, Tarte one. Small, but usable. This Too Faced one, they're so tiny. Like you cannot use them. I don't like it. So I have out here the White Peach, Just Peachy, and then the actual Sweet Peach palette. I use every single color in here so this i'm 100 percent keeping out of these two i actually think i want to keep the white peach palette the most because the only color in here i don't think i'll use on a day-to-day -day basis is this one right here every other color in this palette i have somewhere else the only color i don't really think i have is this peach sangria color i really love these four colors here on the corner here but 
those four are not worth keeping this i used this palette at my sister's wedding i was really happy with my makeup and i think i'm going to use this palette on my own wedding day so i'm going to keep this another one i'm going to get rid of is the Too faced uh, gingerbread cookie palette next i have the Too faced chocolate bonbon palette i think i'm going to hang on to this one because i do really love lots of the colors then i have the tart tartist pro palette this was another one that i loved and really really wanted when it came out and again i just don't reach for it so saying goodbye to this the last palette i have is the urban decay naked heat i'm gonna get rid of this one then i have three z palettes that i bought from tarte this one i kept blushes in and i never wear blushes so i'm just gonna get rid of these this one i honestly just kept single shadows in i thought keeping them in a palette i would use them more often and i definitely don't same thing gonna just toss these honestly they're so old i don't even feel comfortable letting any of my friends look through these because these shadows are so freaking old and then the last z palette i have is honestly again just single shadows but these ones are more like sparkly and again i'm just going to toss these just to show you guys quickly before i pack it all away all of this right here is all stuff that i'm packing up to let my friends go through before i donate it i just repacked all the stuff that i'm letting my friend go through and this entire like shopping bag is all stuff for her to go through i'm just like looking at what i've kept and i'm just like amazed with myself that i've cut it down this much i really hope these all fit in the drawer because holy smokes did i get rid of a lot let me show you what i've decided to keep in my like palettes i have the urban decay naked reloaded palette naked three palette naked two palette two face chocolate bonbon palette the two faced sweet peach palette the two faced white peach palette the wet wild au naturel palette and then this is my brand new one this is the nyx um ultimate eyeshadow palette warm neutrals that's the name nyx love contours all palette kat von d shade and light sage palette Too faced tickled peach palette tart happy girls shine brighter palette and then my last one i'm keeping is the bh cosmetic neutral eyes 28 pan palette i can't believe how much i cut that down like i'm actually legitimately impressed and also my lipsticks because i went from this box overflowing with lip stuff to to this container of lipsticks so let's take this all to my bathroom now and try to get all these things into the drawer that's the next <laughs> task here So I'm so excited right now. I just put everything in the drawer and it all fits. So let's do a quick little tour of the drawer. I have my three drawers here and then the middle drawer is my makeup. The way I kind of have it set up is that my brushes are in here and then my like stuff I literally use all the time and every single day is in here. So I literally just have to take these two things out every single day. And then I have all my palettes. They're not super convenient to grab, but I mean, it's easy enough that like if I want this bottom palette here, I can just kind of dig and get to it. Like it's not super difficult. It's definitely not as easy as it was at my aunt's house. But again, I'm cutting down my makeup. I wanted to cut down my makeup. So this is okay. I'm okay with this. So I have my little tin here of all my lipsticks and stuff. Again, I don't really wear lipsticks all the time. So I figured that's okay at the bottom. I'm super happy with it. I'm super amazed that I got an entire unit of drawers and an entire vanity cut down to one little tiny drawer. 
Like, look at that. That is this video. That is me going through all of my makeup and getting rid of a lot of it. I feel really good. Like, I feel so accomplished. And now the next task is to go through and organize my closet. I feel like this video was super, super long. So if you have made it this entire all the way, Thank you so much for sticking around. You guys are amazing. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching my video. I post new videos every single Friday and I would love to have you guys here. So please subscribe if you want to see more content like this and I will see you guys later. Bye everybody.